In our last video, we drove from Santa Rosalia to La Paz, and we ended up boondocking at the most beautiful beach we have ever seen. Join us today as we continue our journey of driving the entire Baja Peninsula in less than two weeks in our van. Subscribe for new videos every Sunday. Good morning, guys. Welcome to La Paz, Mexico. We slept here last night. We woke up to this beautiful sound of ocean waves. We slept with our windows open all night. It's such an amazing location. Today's plan, we are heading up about 10 minutes away. No cell service at all. We won't have cell service for at least 24 hours. And we've heard that while this spot is breathtaking, the next one is even better. I can't even imagine anything getting better than this. Let me show you what I'm looking at. I'm actually, I'm going to bake some whole apart monkey bread. Okay. So I'm just getting my dough ready and my sauce is all ready. Using our handy dandy oven, stove top oven. So just put all this in here. Coat them all and then, okay. So I might have already seen this, but I, 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 <gasps> I, I tasted it just to make sure it was done. What? But without me, I did taste it without you. Okay. But I want to. This is the big reveal here. Okay. Okay. Monkey here we bread. Go. Monkey bread in a van. Whoa, <laughs> Bob. Really? So I don't know if our plates are big enough to turn that out onto. Oh, well, they are. I am game for this. This looks so amazing. I need a, you know what we don't have is like a little pot holder. Oh, so we never did do that, did we? I need like some towels. Okay. There goes something. <laughs> don't melt our plate. Ready? Ready, Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> Psych. I knew that was gonna happen. Whoopsie. Oh my goodness. Oh, Monkey bread by the ocean. First time for everything. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I need another bite. Mm. He's the best cook, guys. I wish you could taste it. It's so good. Well, we are finished here. We're actually headed to our next destination. We've been told that this is the, the best beach uh, here in La Paz. Yep. It's a natural preserve, so um, I guess it's got really good snorkeling, um, and there's some great hikes and everything around there, so we're excited to get up there and see it. It's only about a 10 minute drive from here, so we're gonna just pack up things here and head up there and see what we can find. But there is one bummer. The bummer being, it is a cloudy day and it's kind of chilly. I'm not gonna lie, I had to put pants on instead of shorts <laughs> because it's chilly and the sun hasn't been out yet. It's almost 11 a.m. It looks like it might break through the crowd clouds right now, but I hope it's, I don't know, but it's just been really chilly this morning and it looks like it's gonna be chilly for the rest of the day. Right. Which for me, I'm like, well, you know. There's not a ton of water activities to do then, although you did bring a wetsuit, so 
we're just gonna make the best of it and drive up there and see if it's the spot that we want to stay for the night yeah hopefully this cold front that just kind of moved in here should be here for a couple of days so it's kind of kind of tweaked our plans a little bit but we'll yeah. just have to kind of play it by yeah. ear see what we can find up there and yeah we might head to cabo earlier than later because of that because it's a little nicer over there right now so we're gonna see we're gonna take it pretty much 10 minutes at a time <laughs> We've made it to our location, guys. For the night, I don't know how to say this place. Starts with a T. Tahote? I think so. This is where we're going to park. We're all set up for camp. Clearly, everybody else is here too. All right, let's run down, see if we can find some guacamole and some chips down here at the restaurant. We made it to pretty much the end of this part of the beach and it's gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. It's a big piece. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. We're just kind of enjoying ourselves. I don't know if you could see way back there, but like the vans are just lined, lined up for a huge van event this weekend, which we knew of. So we're, we haven't decided if we're gonna stay for it yet or we're gonna go to a few other places. So stay tuned for that. pretty stunning beach that's uh, here. We hiked down the beach to a point and we kind of are uh, on the other side of where we parked the van. We're like 30 minutes in. Yeah, we're just out exploring, checking things out. It's kind of cool. So it is quite the chilly day. We took a really long walk and then we've literally just been sitting here watching the waves, people watching, making up stories about their life while trying to stay warm. Cause yes. it is pretty chilly. It, it is actually quite cold. Yeah. I mean, like I'm covered up with a blanket, which I normally would never do that. And, but I will say the people watching has been fun. We've created a new game where we create stories for people in the lives that they live as they walk by. Yep. It's quite, it's quite fun. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're up to. 
It's gorgeous. We do wish it would have been sunny. We've just decided that on our, we're gonna go down, obviously go down to Cabo, go to the tip of the Baja, and then on our way back, we'll come back here for a night or at least a day because it is gorgeous, but you can't get out the kayak. You can't get out the paddleboard. It's super windy, it's cold. And so we're just having a day of snuggling in our blankets. We've got our books we're reading and it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday, so. We just had really good salads and Bob is making chicken tortilla soup. Correct. A chicken tortilla soup for dinner. And then we're probably gonna enjoy a little bit of the evening out here. I'm gonna call it good. We're tired, believe it or not. But I think it's time to close out day five of Baja. Tomorrow, we go to Cabo. All right, let me show you guys how windy it is out here. Oh God, maybe, maybe it's a little quieter here so you can actually hear me, but oh, the sand is just blowing. It's the wind is blowing so intense that the, it's picking up all this loose sand and it is killing my eyes, but just wanted to show you guys what we're dealing with out here in this wind. It's crazy. <sighs> what are you doing in here? I'm washing dishes. Early, bright, early. But guess what? Look what happened. Bob made that chicken tortilla soup last night. Look at the spoon. Yeah. Um, it's now green. Yeah, you permanently dyed our spoon. But it was worth it. It was really good soup. right outside of La Paz, uh, yep, up, in right. the, up in the mountains though, not in the city. And there's an amazing gas station as you come down from um, the beach camping spot. And so you just stop and we've got it. Day six, we finally understand how it works. <laughs> I feel like it, you know, they come to your car and you ask if they accept card. Um, I would say 80% of the time they say yes, they accept a credit card. We've only had it a couple of times, them say no. And then, uh, you know, they, you tell them regular, fill it, fill it up and that's what they do. And uh, this time he even showed us that it started at zero. Uh, we have heard from people that you need to make sure they're starting it from zero. Um, otherwise you get charged more, whatever that means. And then he cleaned our windshield and ran our card. Bob signed the paper and then we tipped him. And now we're off driving. Bob, how do you feel? Pretty good, pretty good. I know we have one security checkpoint that we need to drive through today. It's just on the outskirts of La Paz. And then basically we'll be on the highway the rest of the way right down into Cabo. So yep. It should be nice and easy. And we really need to go to town anyways because we've only eaten out one time. It's our sixth day. We've only eaten out one, that one time um, a few episodes ago. 
and we're running low on food and we did not realize how much we would go through. We don't have any more dinners left. We had, uh, you know, we've had some good dinners though. But yeah, we're running low on supplies, so we're gonna go hit a grocery store in Cabo and see what else we can find. Guys, we're at Costco. Is it weird that I'm excited to be at Costco? We are big Costco fans, but I think the last time we were at this Costco was like over 10 years oh, ago. Yeah. So let's go see what we could find. Lots changed. Yeah. We'll see. Let's do it. Okay, so we're a little bougie with our coffee. Um, we have a Nespresso machine and we're almost out of pods. We did not bring enough and look what we just found. Crisis averted. <laughs> Crisis. We've got them. <laughs> We've got them and they, we pre are pretty sure they fit our machine. If not, we were just gonna buy regular coffee because we do have a French press, but I'm very happy yes. with that. So now we have to figure out how to jam all of that into our little tiny fridge, which isn't empty. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm glad I played Tetris as a kid. We made it to our spot for the night. Before we show you guys and go set up for fun, we're doing some chores. <laughs> yep. We plan on making a lot of tacos and nachos, truth be told. <laughs> so we missed a turn when we left Cobb Costco and we stumbled upon Walmart. So we were like, hey, we needed a few little things still like Ziploc bags and stuff. Let's quick run into Walmart. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever been to the Walmart in Cabo. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's huge. It literally had everything we would have needed. I don't, other than water, which we still could have gotten there, we didn't actually need to go to Costco. But it was fun. We do love going to Costco, but hindsight's 2020. We bought stuff that, um, you know, we probably won't use at all. Like three heads of lettuce. There have been so many newbie mistakes on this trip. I wish I had a count, but there's too many to count. So there you go. Hot tip from the Van Caskies. If you come to Cabo, go to Walmart. It has everything that you need and then some, so. But we're gonna continue. I'm actually gonna start helping, you know, uh, do some chores, van life chores, and then we're gonna head down to the beach. All right, so we are at the Playa Santa Maria, and I wanted to give you a little tour of what it looks like if you're gonna drive down here and park at the parking space. So as I got out of the van, you could see little view of the ocean and then here's your bathrooms and showers this is the parking lot easy spot to stay no one comes up and hassles you and you have showers and a bathroom this parking lot is it kind of you know slants and has some bumps in it and so originally we were up there which was flatter, but we wanted to be closer to the bathrooms at night. So we came down here and the parking spots were, you know, we didn't want to have to get out our leveling blocks and stuff. And so some of the parking spots you feel slanted. So you just have to drive around until you find one that's flat. Obviously our van and the van behind us found the two best flat spots up front. So this is extremely flat.
Because even going up like just right there, it starts to slant. But yeah, it was a great spot. I recommend if you need somewhere to go for free for the night, Playa Santa Maria is perfect. Mm -hmm.